Alfa Romeo Giulia Villos 2018 Review This is a renaissance for a famous and storied brand, blah, 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 motorsport heritage, blah, 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 5,000 units per annum within 5 years, blah, 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 our cars are reliable and don't rust anymore, blah, blah, bloody blah. The Giulia sedan is the car Alfa Romeo now believes will catapult it into the luxury performance mainstream and there are signs some walking has actually taken place. More than 500 Julias have found homes locally this year, helping Alpha climb up off the canvas, and post a year-to-date sales number 36% up on 2016. Yes, that's coming from a low base, but with the new Stelvius set to jump into the ever-growing pool of premium mid-size SUVs, and Julia's supply likely to flow more freely, 2018 has the potential to be even better. So, should we push our crusty cynicism to one side, and dare to imagine Alfa Romeo has the product capable of genuinely setting it on an upward trajectory? Time to drive the Giulia Villos and find out. Is there anything interesting about its design? Hats off to the design team at Alfa Romeo Centra Style. The Giulia is a superb looking machine that manages to combine smooth, gentle curves, echoing classics from the brand's extensive back catalogue, with angry, angular elements that stand the car apart in any current automotive crowd. At just over 4.6 meters long, close to 1.9 meters wide, and 1.4 m high, the Giulia is in the same dimensional ballpark as its compact luxury sedan rivals such as BMW's 3 Series, the Jaguar XE, and Merc C-Class. Alpha says the Giulia's cab rear proportions are based purely on its chassis architecture, with short overhangs a long bonnet and the front wings extended in parallel. The teardrop profile is said to be inspired by the Giulietta Sprint, a 1960s masterpiece, and one of the most beautifully resolved coupes to ever roll off a production line. Large, elongated headlights and a signature shield-shaped grille create a dramatic and distinctive face, while the tail lights pick up the same shape as those at the front, with a neatly integrated boot lid spoiler and big three-channel diffuser pointing to aero function also driving the Giulia's racy form. The car's assertive stands, and our test Veloce's rich Montserrat paint, matched with dark grey 19-inch 5-hole alloy rims made a stunning combination, to the point where just about every stop and exit of the car led to an impromptu curbside conversation with an admiring onlooker. The interior manages to pull off the same balancing act between heritage design cues and current tech to create a cool and inviting cabin environment, with intriguing design details everywhere. A pair of pronounced cowls over the main instruments, which is actually a 7.0-inch color TFT display, the tapering sweep of the dash and lateral ribbing on the center sections of the leather-trimmed seats shout Alpha Heritage, while the 8.8-inch Connect Multimedia Screen, Rotary Pack Controller, and sleek alloy paddle shifters for the 8-speed auto transmission are seamlessly integrated. <laughs>